Well, today I decided, Sunday morning, that I would go to the market. <coughs> Actually, I really just needed a couple of things, one of which was this. Do you recognize this? It's an inline switch for, say, a lamp. I have four lamps that came with these little cheap rotary switches in the cord, and they eventually just wear out or break, and uh, so I've been getting by with uh, one that had broken recently, and I decided to go to the hardware store today and get one of those. And of course that meant I was going to be there by the bakery. I really like these little tidbits here. They're about the size of a, your checkbook or a wallet, and they're solid crunch. They're kind of heavy. Um, heavy and solid but they crumble the minute you bite into them don't eat these in your brother-in-law's Lexus this is from there also the little panaderia built the bakery near my house I buy a lot of these because they're so good toasted I, I slice it thin it's good with tuna like a tuna salad sandwich um, or jelly and uh, I really did I did have just um, a, another motive for going to the to the market, and that was to get some nuts. I use uh, these chopped pecans for salads. The same here; um, they're great for uh, yogurt. Um, these are just good for snacking, so I don't buy very many. That's just a tiny little bit, and the reason is because they're kind of expensive, and because I don't I eat them all up fast so I buy a few and they'll last me a while <laughs> but I also needed some dog food my my pup my rusty um, I try to keep three kinds of dog food for him at all times uh, so he gets a kind of a, a, a change um, and I needed to get this is like a pitcher this is like a great big juice pitcher can you see that um, and I buy these in bulk usually. Um, depends where I'm at at the time. I may I get a lot at the grocery store, but I also get uh, his stuff at the market. This I think is a whole what they would call a kilo or 2.2 pounds. So I'll put that in here. This is a container for Rusty that I've had many years. Uh, it is one of the few things that I brought from Nebraska when we moved here that was just an easy way to keep his dry food and of course I have canned food for him too and I mix with all of this so isn't that that's a day's work well not really it was a fun trip I walk down there it's all, it's really close it's it's probably I suppose I get there mm, at the two mile mark and I probably spend another mile or two while I'm there I don't go far. I, I just stop at the first place or two that I find. Uh, today I went to a new place for the nuts. Uh, it's it's uh, all girls. Uh, I used to go to the one where a couple of brothers have a nice little shop, but here they have a combination of, of these kinds of, uh, I'll call them snacks and candy, and a very clean kind of white atmosphere. I mean, the whole market is dirty and noisy, and uh, you know, it's it's not pristine by any means, but you go there and you just have a lot of fun mingling with people and dodging the cars and motorcycles and other people. And I'm going to have one of these right now. By the way, I use an awful lot of uh, chocolate sauce. Dribble a little of chocolate on here, Hershey's chocolate. Mmm, so good. So anyway, and there, over there is my kitchen. Um, it's never very tidy. It's there on the, oh, there on the side. You see those little colorful containers? I put nuts in there. I usually have five or six kinds of nuts uh, for my, uh, oh, for snacking, but ice cream or yogurt. I never thought I would put stuff in yogurt, but I do. I learned that here. And the rest of my kitchen goes around there. The laundry room out there. I have the dryer going now. And over there's my tiny little table. This is where I paint. And my gray refrigerator. But uh, Rusty will be happy. I'm going to... This is a new a new one for him. And I think he'll like it. Okay. Bye for now. <laughs>